Good morning. It's uh, July the 10th, Sunday. 2022. And uh, this is Don Pace coming once again to teach a little of the scripture to you. Who listens? You, know, you, you don't have to listen if you don't want to, but it's I teach because I, I'm called to be a teacher. And that's the way it is, and so that's what I do. Uh, I try to get a message in every Sunday. I don't always achieve that, but that's my goal. And uh, here lately, for the last three Sundays, I guess, we've been on in Romans. Uh, I love the book of Romans. It's a wonderful letter from Paul to the people of Rome of, of that day in the early first century. And uh, he, of course, was called the uh, apostle to the Gentiles. And he wrote to Gentiles, that includes me. And if you're not Jewish, that includes you. You're a Gentile. And uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ for salvation is for you just as much as it is for the Jew. Uh, there was a time when the Gentiles were not allowed, but they are now because God opened up the door for all through Jesus Christ for salvation. And that's really the way it is now. There's no, there's no barrier to anyone who wants to come and believe in God through Jesus Christ. That's how it's done today, and that's how God has ordained it, and so that's how it is. And that is what I believe, and that is what I teach, because that's what I read in the scriptures. So, uh, Lord, we ask that you would be with us today as we teach your word in Romans chapter 14. Help us, O oh Lord, to hear, to teach, and to inspire others to believe in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, uh, we have been going through the book of Romans, like I said, and we're well, not the whole book right now. We're just going through chapter 14. And we have, you know, taught all the way down to uh, uh, verse 6. And that's where we'll wind up today, is verse 6. Uh, of Romans chapter 14 but let's read the verses up ahead again so we'll know and be familiar where we are remember now that Paul the Apostle uh, wrote this uh, letter to the Romans before he was imprisoned there you know remember in his, later in his life he became a prisoner of Rome and that's tradition says where he died he was uh, beheaded in Rome, and uh, that's the tradition. So that's what we say. Uh, there's, as far as I know, there's nothing that contradicts uh, Paul's martyrdom in Rome. And uh, here he's writing this letter to the Romans. He loves the Romans. Romans love him. Uh, the and there's a, a church there that is very well established. And he's, you know, because this is, I think, kind of towards the end of Paul's life. And, you know, the, on the road to Damascus, he, uh, that was uh, early in the century. Now he's in mid century, or, uh, you know, more than mid century. And he's uh, writing to these people who he didn't start the church there. Someone else did. And there's different ideas about who did. And that's not really our concern right now. We're, our concern right now is just what, what has God written? What does God give to Paul to write to us that we can read and understand and know who God is? to know what God has done so that we can give thanks to him, so that we can praise him, so that we can tell others about him. That's the goal of the word of God. 
It's not to beat people over the head with it. You know, it's not to judge everybody. The word itself judges you. We don't have to. When you read the word, it judges you. It judges you and tells you what you are, who you are, what you need to do to change uh, what you are. You need a cleansing. You need a savior. And that, of course, is Jesus Christ. And that's what Paul says. He says, he's not ashamed of the gospel. For because it is the power of God to save all who believe. And uh, Romans, you know, he tells us also that the gospel is for the Gentiles as well as the Jews. And if the Gentiles believe, they'll be saved. If the Jews believe, they'll be saved. If they don't, they won't. That's the, that's the gospel. I mean, I know it sounds harsh, Sometimes, but you know, that that's who God is. That's what he has chosen to show himself to be a just and a gracious God. And he is. And if you ever come to believe in him, you will know that. It don't take long to, to realize it. And then, especially when you read the scripture, you begin to see who God is, you know, um, a lot of people say they can't understand the word. Well, you got to read it to understand it first. You know, you had to read it from front to back before you can know what is going on. It's not one, it's not a one layer book. Although it is, it's multifaceted, but it's one, you know, it, it, it's about many people, but it's about it's one God. It's about Jesus Christ as the Savior. That's all the Old Testament. I mean, you know, we've separated it from the Old and New. Uh, but before there was a New Testament, the the, er, the early church fathers, they, they taught from the Old Testament because that's what they had. That's what they believed. They were Jews who taught the word through the law of Moses. The first five books of the Bible was the law. And, and they taught that as a law. And the prophets and prophetic words and the Psalms were all available to those who taught the word to teach it in its fullness. It's not... Uh, it's, it's not some broken up little message. It is a complete uh, historical